Mikey. Why is this thing called Mikey, Shorty? I named it after Mike Lowley, the, the uh, person I purchased a kit from and worked with uh, by telephone while constructing it. What is this anyway? What kind of airplane is it? It's a Lowley Sport Parasol. Uh, it, uh, about a 28 foot wing spread. It's called a parasol and it's a very efficient design because the pilot sits directly on the center of gravity. So the way that the pilot doesn't affect the aircraft. You build the airplane yourself? Yes, in okay. five months. Five months? Well, how many hours do you figure you got into building? Oh, four to five hundred, including all the talking with the neighbors. <laughs> Where did you build it? Did the uh, yeah, wife get a little upset at you when you moved her out of the bedroom? Or? Uh, well, no, I moved her van out of the garage. I got a car and a half garage and I uh, uh, built it in there. Uh, she was uh, a little upset, yes. <laughs> How did the uh, the aircraft go together for you? Very good. Uh, I uh, built it, like I said, in five months. I also built the trailer to haul it in in five months, which is a pretty good record. And. Uh, I test flew it October 10th, which uh, was exactly five months after I purchased the kit. This is the first airplane that you've uh, owned? First one, yes. First one you built? First one I built, first one I've owned, yes. Where did you get instructions on how to fly it then? I uh, took an ultralight uh, USUA certified instructor, trained me in Ruskin, Florida. Uh, I got my ultralight license last year. Now, as far as the airplane uh, construction, so on and so forth, did it go together fairly easy? Was there anything that you, you know, that you really had to know in order to build it, or something you can just about anybody could have done? Uh, it takes a good degree of mechanical ability, and, and you must be able to decipher uh, uh, drawings and instructions. Sometimes you have to refer to the material lists, the drawings, and the instructions in order to come up with the answer. If not, you'd have to call Tennessee every time, and that gets tiresome. Did you have any uh, special tools uh, that you needed to build it? I did have a, band, a small band saw, and just otherwise it was uh, hand tools. Now, as far as uh, getting out of the kit, what uh, you know you thought was going to be when you finished, is the airplane living up to your expectations? No, oh, I love it. I love it. I uh, I was in 1992. I had a heart attack and angioplasty, and then I got bladder cancer, and I decided that that. I, that I wanted to fly before it all ended and I could either sit and wait or I could do something and I did something about it. I got my license, I built my plane and uh, it's very forgiving, docile, sturdy, uh, beautiful aircraft. I love it. How much money would you have wrapped up into something like this? I have $4,600 without the chute. Okay, and what uh, kind of engine are you powering with? That's a one-cylinder, 277cc Rotax. Okay. You find that, uh, what are you, about uh, 210 pounds? 180. 180. Sorry about that, Shorty. <laughs> 180 pounds. How does it perform with uh, you in it with 180 pounds? Real good. Uh, it performs much better in Michigan. Florida is a little bit like flying in jello is the only impression I can get it. Uh, the humidity and the high heat. Uh, make it work a little harder, but in Michigan it, it flies real good. It climbs about two, three hundred feet a minute and uh, it flies about 55 miles an hour in level flight and wide open about 64. Are uh, you looking at uh, doing anything else to it or basically you're finished with it? I will make constant little improvements on it. Right now I'm working on trying to get the trim perfect on it uh, in level flight so I can pick up maybe another mile an hour and save fuel because I'm running uh, little higher fuel consumption than I would have liked to. Now talking to some other people around here, we've had some problems with manufacturers. How's Lowly been to deal with? Uh, like a brother. Very good. Uh, at first uh, I began to have suspicions, but then they wouldn't make uh, excuses and I wish they would have. Uh, they just when I bought the kit, it was May, which was right after Sun and Fun, so you knew what chaos there was at Lowly Aviation. And uh, when I purchased it, I told Mike, pack it up so I can get it because you're going to be fouled up during Sun and Fun. He said, no, we'll take care of you. Well, he couldn't produce everything, and I, I uh, had a little problem, but then he just mailed me a letter, and he said, everything's on the way, stick with it. So, so you're quite happy with the factory then? Yes, I'm very happy, and they're very nice people. I'm, Must be naming the airplane after. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jerry. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you.